Various Dermatological Skin Lesions In this video, we will learn about various types of dermatological skin lesions, their definitions and examples. First, we have the macule. A macule is a flat lesion characterized by a well-circumscribed change in skin color. It measures less than one centimeter in diameter. You can think of it as a small, flat discoloration, like a freckle or a labial macule. Similar changes can also be observed in the oral cavity. Next is the patch, which is essentially a larger version of a macule measuring over one centimeter. Patches are common in conditions like birthmarks, also known as congenital nevi. You might also see patches in fungal infections like tinea capetes or tinea corporis, as well as in Kaposi's sarcoma, which presents with violaceous patches on the skin. Moving on, we have the papule. This is an elevated solid lesion that's smaller than one centimeter in diameter. Papules can be seen in conditions like lichen planus, acne vulgaris, or even atopic dermatitis, where small raised lesions often accompany inflammation and itching. When a papule grows larger than one centimeter, it's referred to as a plaque. Plaques are commonly associated with psoriasis, which presents as silvery, scaly lesions. Other examples include pigmented basal cell carcinoma, the herald patch seen in pityriasis rosea, necrobiosis lipoidica, and numular eczema, which presents as coin-shaped plaques. Next, let's talk about the vesicle, a small, fluid-filled blister less than one centimeter in size. Vesicles are classic features of chickenpox or varicella and can also appear in shingles or herpes zoster, which follows a dermatomal distribution. Another example is eczema herpeticum, where vesicles cluster on inflamed skin. When a vesicle becomes larger than one centimeter, it's called a bulla. Bully can be seen in conditions like bullous pemphigoid, a blistering autoimmune disease. They also appear in severe conditions such as Stevens-Johnson syndrome, Bullus impigo and pemphigoid gestationis, also known as herpes gestationis, which occurs during pregnancy. Another important lesion is the cyst. A cyst is an epithelium lined sac that contains fluid or semi solid material. A classic example is a pilar cyst, commonly found on the scalp which feels like a firm, mobile nodule under the skin. Next, we have the pustule, a vesicle filled with pus, often indicating infection or inflammation. Pustules are seen in conditions like pustular psoriasis, which presents with painful, sterile pustules on an inflamed base. The wheel is a transient, smooth papule or plaque that is often red and itchy. Wheels are commonly seen in urticaria, or hives, which are caused by an allergic reaction or histamine release. These lesions typically appear and disappear within hours. Now let's discuss the scale, which refers to the flaking or shedding of the stratum corneum, the outermost layer of the skin. Scales are a hallmark of conditions like eczema and psoriasis. 
They can also occur in squamous cell carcinoma, where thick, scaly lesions may develop. The crust is another important lesion formed by the drying of serum, blood, or pus on the skin surface. Crusts are commonly seen in impetigo, a superficial bacterial infection characterized by honey-colored crusts. An ulcer is a deeper lesion caused by the destruction of the epidermis and upper dermis. Ulcers can result from various conditions, such as diabetic foot ulcers, which develop due to prolonged pressure and poor circulation in individuals with diabetes. Lastly, we have lichenification, which is the thickening and hypertrophy of the epidermis, leading to an exaggerated appearance of normal skin markings. This occurs due to chronic scratching, often seen in pruritic conditions like scabies or eczema. And that concludes our discussion of dermatological skin lesions. Thank you for watching.